Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at alternatives to the Stocks app that comes with your iPhone. So many times I've been asked questions about the Stocks app that comes with the iPhone. It's pretty basic and if you're looking for something more then you might want to look into one of these free app alternatives. Now the great thing is that all these apps are free so you can try different ones out and see which one meets your needs best. I'm going to include links to all of these at this post at MacMost.com. So all of these allow you to set up a list of stocks to watch. Here's one of the most basic ones. It's called Real Time Stocks and it allows you to create a list of stocks and you can get real time quotes and dig in for a little bit of information like a chart. The app from the street allows you to dig a little bit deeper than that with some news and analysis. That from Reuters goes even deeper with the news, giving you some general news as well and allows you to go and dig deeper with information about the companies as well. So each of these next apps has news from a specific source. So for instance, CNN Money, of course, features all its financial news from CNN. If you prefer to get your news from Fox Business, there's also an app from them. CNBC is another popular cable network that has its own app with news and information from CNBC. The CNBC app is very impressive and so is the Bloomberg app which you should check out as well. So for the last few it really comes down to which financial news source you like. Now I haven't mentioned them all so if you have a different favorite source go and see if they have an app as well. If you like news from a variety of sources here are a couple of apps for you. The first is the Yahoo Finance app. Now one of the things I love about this one is that it allows you to customize your screen with the stocks you want to track. So for instance you can see here I've chosen to have Google and Microsoft in very small boxes and I've put Apple in a larger box with a graph and Adobe down below in a larger box with a graph and some news. And you can add more to this page and scroll up and down it. And then you can also dig in for more information. Another good one is Daily Finance from AOL which includes multiple news sources and makes very good use of the iPhone interface including some horizontal views, even a cover flow like view of graphs. Now I know I'm going to get asked this question. If you want to get rid of the default stocks app there's no way to do it. You can't get rid of default apps. But you can go and create app folders and then put the stocks app and maybe other ones you don't use into a folder so it's out of the way. I hope you like this look at stocks app alternatives for the iPhone. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.